All right, we are back, everybody. Why is my game? Hold on. Why the? Anyway, ignore that. Um, we're back. We're still playing rejuvenation. Uh, let's fix this real quick. All right, we're playing rejuvenation. We're back. We're doing well. We are not in renegade mode. Thank God. I thought I thought I was about to get the bad ending. I was about to drop this game, but we're not. Did some research. We are on the good one. So could get worse, but so far so good. All right, we're on the speed up button. Something like I'm gonna need to get it, need it together. Proceed interceptor. There we. Go. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Do y'all have to do that every time? We have to do that again? Like... Mel! Something strange happened. By the time you and Crescent left, this place changed. Uh, is this because Edoras is no more? No, Zite reflects the mind of the Interceptor, so something has changed with you. Something weird happened? Well... You had some sort of vision? One that you experienced with Melia? I can't say I understand, but something inside you has caused Zite to change drastically. Be it as it may, why did you return here? Oh, you want to give Zeit privileges to Melia? I don't know if she might be able to pass through Zeit as she please. I trust a girl, but this isn't my decision to make. It's only something you can do. Use the terminal. Ah. That's what it looks like. Do you wish to grant... Do you wish to grant Melia access warning? Outsiders user outside users may roam uh, and manipulate Zite without consequences. Yeah. <coughs> Melia has been granted access to Zite. Zite, it it looks just like mom. Nancy, it's good to see you after such a long time. Thank you for keeping your promise. Oh, it's nothing. Honestly, I haven't I haven't been the one protecting Mel. Mel's the one who's been protecting all of us, so it would have seemed. But Melia, I have to ask, why did you want permission to enter Zite? I know something suspicious for me to ask, blah, blah, blah. Mel and I experienced together. Goodness. But that doesn't explain why we're all here suddenly. Not that we're moved at all, but yeah. I have a slow down for y'all just because I'm. It, it's a lot of dialogue. Wait. Mel, remember what Edris said right before he disappeared? I have unlocked and hidden something within Zite, a place where they cannot find it. I don't know who Edris was referring to as they, but I found it. Oh? It took a lot of rummaging, but a group of encrypted data. No matter what I try, even with my administration properties, I can't decipher it. I'm considering the possibility that it is impossible to decipher in Zite. You want me to take it with me? Maybe we could do it. <laughs> Try a little harder? Maybe we could do it. That might be possible. But but if even Nancy's having trouble, I'm not sure what we can do. Well, it's possible. I'll bring up the possibility of it being impossible to decipher here. Edoras said he left the keys all to you. And I believe the all of you refers to Mel and the rest of their group. But I don't know anything like that. We just need a little bit of time. Take care. We will. Check by tomorrow. Alright, now it's the 6th. Day 6, December 6th. Here we go. Light of determination. Alright. Good morning, Mel. Were you able to sleep? Like a baby? Not much. Same here. I kept tossing and turning. The images kept flashing out of my head. Back and forth. <sighs> Mel, there's something we need to discuss. But we have to make sure no one overhears us. <laughs> that that's the main purpose I wanted uh to give you uh <laughs> I wanted you to give me Zite privileges. And there's no one can hear us, no distractions, no nothing. We should go right away. Uh it's Aaron. Oh. Hey, we need to talk to you two about what happened. What seems to be the problem? We're considering <laughs> because both of you passed out so suddenly. That happened uh to Mel right after they received Adderis gift. Mm. Make sure Mel don't have the syndrome. No, no, that's not. It's all a big understanding. Besides, what are the odds of us both passing out at the same time? 
that's what makes this very odd. Listen, we just want to make sure Mel is healthy, that's all. But we have to go all the way down to the third layer to test it. No need. Genesis syndrome affects the cells in the body. If we can get a saliva sample, we'll be able to test it right here in our lab. So yeah, just take a few hours. Here, Mel got the sample bottle. Just swap around or something and then play and then just place it in the uh the back of the bottle. Thank you for your cooperation. The results will be in a few hours. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about that. You definitely don't have Genesis Syndrome. They just don't understand what's going on with us. Perhaps it's better off that way. Never mind, let's go to Zite. Okay, damn, we went straight to Zite. Melia. Bell. Zite has changed again. Changed again? What about it? Allow me to show you. Oh, there's Crescent. Crescent image is inside of this wireframe. But why? But that's not all. There's more. Oh, everybody is in there. Nim, Aaron, Alita, Alan, Alice. Almost everyone is here represented. I think the only one that's not represented at all is Cannon. They suddenly appeared here as if it was fate. When Adris says he had the keys with you, I believe he meant he left the encrypted files in each one of us as a key. How are we supposed to use them? Unknown. Usually, wireframes can be interacted with with memories and such to see what's inside them, but these are different. They don't contain memories in there in the way their predecessors did. Oh my god, Mel. Remember that thing I need to talk to you about? Mel, it's a call to me. This is what we're gonna do. And now it's the seventh. December 7th, a light of friendship. Psst, Mel, you awake yet? Hey, good morning. I heard your test results are in, and they seem to be uh, just fine, thankfully, but you should go see Aaron about it. By the time, Na uh, by this time, Nancy should have already sent her file um, under the guise of address. I don't know what they're supposed to be about the keys, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to head out for now. Back to Zite. Okay, so I got to go back to Zite. Well, I gotta see Aaron first. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck are you not intimidate? You do not have your hidden ability. I don't want you having sheer force. Alright. It's random, but, uh... <coughs> matters to me. Aaron in here? That's one of the side quests, but uh <coughs> I'm doing side quests later. Uh hey Mel, good news. Your test results are in clear. Not to worry about that. Yeah. Looking through the computer database and I noticed some encrypted files. Everybody don't know nothing about them. You're my last hope. Do you know anything about them? Damn, that's unfortunate. <laughs> nothing seemed to do really open them. But ever since teams in meeting I just want to make sure everybody's okay and a bit more comfortable. Just a day off should be fun. Good to hear. Now let me go finish. Yeah, I, I can't afford to have a negative uh, friendship. Let me guess, you ready? Let's go. All right, we're going to meet Mika at the coffee. Let's have some fun. I'm so glad I got the good uh, thing because if it was Renegade, I'd have been sick to my stomach. Oh, we're moving on our own. Hey, look, Mel made it. Yay, Mel's here, which means the fun actually can begin. We already ordered our, uh, we already ordered you a drink and some snacks. Have a seat. Who do you want to sit next to, Alita or Ren? Good choice, Mel. You know a good seat when you see it. Sorry, Mel. Only lame kids sit on that side of the table. Aww. You're just <laughs> jealous because Mel didn't sit next to you. More space for me. No big deal. You guys are so silly. I didn't expect the place without Mel's ass to be the discussion topic. It's a highly talked about subject. Haven't you read GDC Digest? Uh, they talk about Mel's rear. <laughs> They're so silly. I must read the most recent issue. Can't pay. Don't pay them no mind. Idiots got it. So how's everybody doing? I know we haven't been all done here. Damn. What's going on? Me? I guess I'm doing okay. A lot better than last month for sure. How does turning into stone? I don't know. It's okay, Venom. Take your time. Don't worry about that too. I can take my time, but it wouldn't have been different if I just matured a bit faster, you know? 
That's apparent. Damn, that's a lot of. Okay. I'm working on myself lately. Good thing I'm a fast reader, but. Sorry for y'all. Y'all can. Okay, that wasn't bad. I had to speed it. That is. Yeah, he's just. Actually, hold on, I'm just not doing it right now. Because of the whole thing with Risa. Right. It's that topic. I've been tinkering with the stupid robot body for the past couple of days. Being possessed by a ghost town in the second layer felt so wrong. Narcissa being a help, uh, helping me making a firewall so something like that can't happen again. But if I'm honest with you guys, I'm so tired of this body. It has its uses, but my senses are so dull. I can eat, but the food tastes washed out. I feel my hands, but even that feels wrong. Sometimes I wish I wasn't always on call so I could just be a normal human again. Perhaps you should take a break and just return to your original body. I could, but it's at Team Sin headquarters. I'm not allowed outside of that little uh, pub area. Madam X doesn't trust me, so she sh she shouldn't. But can't a guy just take a walk somewhere? Well, that's what happens when you join a terrorist organization, even if you were tricked into doing so. Blah. I'm doing. I've been doing, Sam. Me too. Getting diagnosed with Genesis Syndrome has been revealing, but yeah. The archetype. Touchy subject. How are you mentally? How are you doing? I've been going through some stuff recently, and it definitely shook my phone <coughs> foundation. Indeed. We don't. Oh, Aaron. My closest sister was diagnosed with Genesis Syndrome, so that wasn't very nice to hear. Besides, I guess I'm doing okay. I've been looking through all the books um, about the disease from the third layer. And I've been trying my hardest to organize an attack that's foolproof. Written data has been, yeah, good help. Yeah. All right, we're done. So, Mel, we've done, a, well, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing just fine. I'm doing okay. A little barely hanging in there. A little tired. I'm okay. Indeed, November has drained most. <laughs> it was a draining month for most of us, but we all overcome it. Now it's time to get down to business. What business? I thought we were supposed to have fun. You know me. I, I have I have <laughs> I've never not had a hidden agenda revealed. Actually, this was Mel and Mel <laughs> Melia's idea in the first place. I could assume that Crescent confronted Mel about the predicament. It's like only Mel knows what would happen. So, so I invited her to join us today. You did? Is that a problem? Obviously, I don't particularly like the girl. We need her on our side, Ren. Crescent's extremely powerful. And if she joins our cause, that just makes us even stronger. Blah, blah, blah. You're hitting me. But this sucks. Be it as it may, she's gonna arrive in a little bit. Mel, like we discussed, you'll wait for her alone and then bring her over to the Samilia Mall. Your job is just to show her around and be friendly to her. Ren, we're gonna have you, Mel, and Crescent attend a dinner at the Red Diamond Restaurant in the Night Market. I made a reservation for three. I was set up. That's all this was. You guys are no better than Crescent. Let's trick Ren into everything. It wasn't a trick. I said we were gonna have <laughs> we were we were gonna have a timeout today with our friends, and we need to. <laughs> oh my goodness, this game is crazy. Alright, there's Crescent. <sighs> da, da, da. So, it seems I was set up. Perhaps I deserve this. I will overlook it then. How are you? You look nice. Are you okay? You look nice today. How are you? Thank you. I'm trying so hard not to get negative <laughs> points with Crescent. It, I'm terrified. I'm not trying to make this awkward. I just don't have much to say. I haven't I haven't had a casual conversation in quite some time, so how's your day? Uh, what do I pick? I see. Well, I haven't done anything the past couple of days, and that disturbs me. I haven't been motivated to do anything. Everything I've worked for is shot down. I was wondering lately if I would even have a purpose of living no more. They have the same face, the same voice, but yet the mannerisms. Surely a doppelganger has fallen. It's not fair. Tell it how is is any fair to me? It's not fair. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. It was it was their decision to leave their body, not yours. I can't be mad at them for that, even if it was just a few days ago. Well, yeah. Yeah, Axel. Axel did a number leaving. 
I bet there's a whole plan around me. Yes, let's go on with it. Ah, yes, the mall. Never been there. Very well. Let's go. And here we are. I suppose you remember this, but there was a mall bar school. Uh, you don't remember this, but there's a spotlight city. We enjoyed our each other company. Sorry, I don't know why I brought that up. Still living in the past. It's not like you could remember anything you never experienced. It's still my first time being here. Did I hear you say your first time? To gain full experience in the mall, you must have stamps. More stamps, more shops you can business. Mel's a returning customer, and I gave them a stamp before, so I'll just give them. I'll just give the lady one. Thank you. But you're going to give Mel another stamp too, right? Sorry, one stamp per. Give Mel a stamp before I stamp your head in. Oh, I just forgot this promotional where we give out a second free stamp. That's crazy. Thank you so much. We'll be frequent shoppers, I promise. That's not. <laughs> that is for listening to me ramble about nonsense at the cafeteria. Let's call ourselves even. Lethal A. How may I serve you? Light clay? I don't need to buy no light clay. How may I serve you? Revives cost so much in this game. No. <laughs> I just said no. Oh, it's Melia, I know. Don't tell anybody, but I'm using my parents' stamps without their permission. Sorry, we don't give you enough service. Not enough stamps. I don't remember how many stamps I have. There they go. You don't give you can't give you service. You ain't enough stamps. Excuse me. Excuse me, but Gucci is only for those with ten stamps and an invitation. But you probably won't be able to purchase anything from the store anyway. The fuck is that supposed to mean? I got money. Oh, Mel and Crescent are here. Yes. Hello, Melia and Venom. I like our new outfits. We did a little shopping here. I I got my stuff from Ursula Outfitters, although it's technically not new. It's the same clothes I had when I first met, met Mel. The pair I had uh, when I ran from Team Zen got all battered and ruined. I got my fit from Gotha. <laughs> gotha, Leah, gotcha. They had a nice punk rock section I like. It just... I'm just wearing a wig. Dyeing my hair takes too much time now. This is a cool alternative. I think I miss having purple hair though. Wow, someone's been talking to today. All I said was hello. Exactly. Are you done? Yeah, excellent. Well, we're gonna go grab something at the store. We can hang out later. Yeah, why don't we go grab everybody else too? And we can reconvene. Very well. Oh, they're try they're certainly trying their best, I think. Malia is too kind and Venom is well Venom. Are you analyzing And that's okay. That's rude. I wasn't asking for approval. I was just clearly making a statement. They're like your old friends. Just give them time. Sometimes. Just give them time. Ah, perhaps you're right. They say time heals all wounds, but I've rejected time's therapy. Yeah. Let's go find others. Alright. <clears throat> How may we serve you? I can buy stones here. I mean, not like I need to. Yeah. Hey, Mel, we were just doing some shopping before, uh, you know. Hello. Ah, looks like our little star under the moon is out to show up today. Thank you for doing so. Don't mention it. Truly, it means a lot, all of us. Here technically feels like the other way around. I've been wondering why would you all want me around after everything? A business transaction, <laughs> if you will. You're annoying. I won't deny that having you on our side doesn't doesn't have doesn't give us benefits. Blah blah blah. This random dude walking like we all not just are we just not staring at dude? He just randomly casually walked over there. They like you? That was rough. Why so hesitant? Huh. 
All right, and we have caught up. Thank God. Would you be the cash shop here? I'm very sorry, man, but Gucci is only available for people with 10. <coughs> yeah, he's saying the same crap he told us. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your breath, Alita. Those who are drunk off their high exclusive are far too gone. Yeah. <laughs> They're about to consume a mega punch, mega kick. If you resort to violence, I'm gonna have to scream for an officer to any help. And she'll imprison you. Uh, I forgot, I have stuff to do. And Misha was not part of the script. Sir, what's all to expect? I think <laughs> I think you're traumatizing your customers is anything but productive. Your head is full with big fat. Quick with words, hold on, let's see what happens when I'm quick with your head with the guillotine. Uh, no need. <laughs> this man's a jerk, leave him be. You people are far too kind for your own good. Sometimes a beheading is nice to be humbled with. That's crazy. She come too. Beheading is crazy. Oh, I didn't even get to read the options, but I got a good point. Okay. We'll take it. Last time. We're missing someone. Never mind that. Let's just go with everyone uh with all your friend everyone else. But they are my friends. Oh, they're all here. Oh, that's we have to sit over here. Um Yeah? Like that? No? There we go. Okay. Hey guys, we saved you to a seat. It seems everyone here is except for one person. Ren is absent. He'll be here when you guys go to dinner later. You all won't be there? We want to come, but Aaron could only get a reservation for three, so it'll just be you, Ren, and Mel. You guys are bad at coming up with subtle plans. Subtlety doesn't work for you, Crescent, so we're being as blatant as possible. Yeah, we're tired and we just want to be friends. No more games. I suppose I can respect that. I appreciate your honesty. I know Ren and I have had trouble, troubled past together, but if he's willing to listen to me, I believe things can work out. Wow, that went easier than expected. <laughs> they really did. Wow, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting a fight at some point. Mel and I already went through that. <laughs> so you should tell us about yourself. Hmm. The more we understand each other, the more we grow as friends. I know the intention, I just don't know where to start. I'm sure you all have lots of questions, so maybe it'd be perhaps if you all directly just ask me your questions, I answer them the best I can. That works. Okay then, where do we begin? Uh, where'd you come from? Favorite food? Why'd you trick Ren? Why did, why did you kill Eden? Your weapon, your age. Oh, our resident, our resident space hags. Yes, yeah, so what about them? After all, they put Mel and I through. I can see why they went rogue, but we still like to hear your reasoning, if that's okay. More than alright, in fact, I'd love to reveal the reason why I hate those two more with a burning passion. Like everyone said, they appeared to me during a desperate time when Axel pushed me into the ravine and I fell uh, into the stem below. I sustained injuries. While covering my left eye and with my hair is an aesthetic choice, it's also, well, I don't have a freaking left eye anymore. Oh. Oh, I see. Damn, Cannon, you have no chill at all. Oh, relax. I know what you. I know you didn't mean it that way. I'm used to it by now. But honestly, too bad. Uh, despite my depth perception being a bit hindered. But back to the question I was asked. Yeah, they promised me they would re revive my friends if I joined the Storm Chasers. I did a lot of recon work, seeking around, causing trouble for teams. And I thought it was a good effort of, of the Storm Chasers that I found out about the black boxes. Tempia used her power to send me to their lab at a specific uh, point in time and steal them. But as I did, my job uh, was a f declared officially over when that happened. They disposed of you? Exactly. They didn't need me no more. They promptly tried to send me to a point where they found me. If they were successful, I would have had to survive the nine storm again. God, nine hour storm again. I would, I would have been slaughtered. But if that's if they were successful, Space Hags underestimated me and for that they paid the price. Did you fight them? Of course I did. While I couldn't necessarily beat them, I could. they couldn't take me down either. A complete standoff. You're that powerful? Why are you saying that as if my power is un <laughs> unattainable or strange? 
Were you all not there? Were you all not the ones who did it on the Puppet Master? You're the ones who <laughs> said I you are the ones who said I couldn't fight you at all anymore, and that's true. Damn, okay, I'll shut up. Being saved by those two just mean the delay the inevitable or becoming stronger to save yourself of all. Have you all noticed that there aren't that many members of the organization left despite being called an organization? That's because Tempia and Spatia picked them off one by one a long time ago. Before Melia and even Cannon, there were so many of them in that mansion. Eden, Seth, Gerbil, Marcus, Kyle. So many people I've seen in and out um, of the geese on those missions. Just for them to be thrown back into their deaths. Damn. Shit, it was dark. I had to ask about Spacey and Tempia because that's probably like the most important thing to figure out. When did you become an interceptor? I was saved by Axel, I was unconscious. During that time, I woke up in the mine and Vera was there. She told me everything and how I could be an interceptor and change my own fate. I took her offer because there was nothing left and it was opportunity. But I neglected my duties as interceptor and used my powers to only benefit myself. It was then the ranking of interceptor was taken away from me, or so I thought. It turned out she cut my power in half and gave it to Mel, so now we share the same life core as with one person. That's cruel. Perhaps I realized that going for my friends was a punishment and neglecting duties. My duties became directly interlocked some way. I couldn't ignore them. So what am I trying to say is don't piss off Vera. She'll make your life a living hell. Yeah, no joke. She went after a jugular on that one. She bestowed me for now, but one day I will get my revenge on her. She will die for that for sure. Where'd you come from? That's a long story. Maybe we can come back to that later. Really, out of all these serious questions, you want to know? Oops, sorry, that's my question. I thought it'd be nice to increase your blood blood pressure with something with a dense question. Well, I don't have a favorite food. Usually, I eat out of not necessary, uh, but not not out of necessity, not pleasure. So I don't know. But I do have a favorite beverage. It's a drink made in Avian once. Did you know there was Avian was so talented? Um, she made a custom drink called the Pink Ro Pink Royals Royal Milk Tea. Damn. Would you really do that for me, Cannon? I assume I'm accustomed to making food and drinks when I'm served. Uh, it has tons of milk, brown sugar, pink rose water, black tea leaves, and hot water. It was delicious. Sounds simple enough. Next time I'm in the kitchen, I'll whip it up for you. I would love that. Why'd you trick Ren? I'm not comfortable talking about that, and even if I were, that explanation Ren needs to hear before anybody else. It doesn't matter if you're not comfortable. You put Ren through some serious shit, and you need to answer for it. I won't answer, so just drop it. Why? Why won't you answer? Because I'm not allowed to. If you're not allowed to, that's right. I could tell you why, <laughs> why I did it if I could, but I can't, and that's it. So nothing more about that topic. Damn, even I said dot dot dot. Your weapon. Oh, you mean the weapon Gothitelle summons for me? It's a pretty easy trick, actually. Uh, Gothitelle just used the move Psycho Cut and it manifests in physical form. It can transform too, have you, as you've seen. Bow, gauntlets, shotgun. But the, powerful, uh, the power of the weapon doesn't change at all. Hitting someone or hitting something or someone with it is no, no different than, than a Pokemon getting hit by the move Psycho Cut. But why do you fight that way? Normally, people just make the Pokemon do all the fighting. Oh, well, that's not as, it's, it's not as satisfying. Feeling the weapon hit your target is just uh, therapeutic. Besides, I find it wrong that I send my Pokemon out to fight my own battles. That's a real, that's a real one right there. She said, shit, I can fight my own battles your age. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you, Crescent? So rude, don't you? Don't you? You're not supposed to ask a woman her age? Well, technically, I was born more than 50 years ago now, but physically, I'm around 19. You suppose you don't know? I've been, I've never been a fan of my own birthday. I've been hoping, I've been ho hoping through different dates back and forth. I've been hopping through different dates back and forth. It's only natural I don't know my age. I was 17 when Storm 9 began. Approximately, I like to say 19, and that's what I'm gonna stick with. I suppose that's everything. It's a Q and A. 
on that topic of where I come from. I don't think I've ever been comfortable talking about it, and I think that's a good reason just to spill everything out. No better moment, so we're listening. And if you want to stop halfway, that's okay. Fine, once I start, I won't be able to stop anyway. It's fine. Very well. Skip Crescent story. Um. Um. For the sake of record purposes, I should say yes. I'm at 30 minutes, but I'm going to say no. I was born in the village, Maria. Y'all could just read it. The Crescent Moon, the tribe come up. Children could not be born under the month, uh, the month of the Crescent Moon. This was an important rule. People in our tribe can only mate with our own members unless specifically permissions were given. Members who have broken either rule shall be exiled or executed on the council's decision. My mother had broken the second rule and made it with the man outside of the tribe and as a result broken the first rule. I was a child born under the crescent moon. As a result of my birth, my older brother and my mother was ostracized and I was treated like a mother. I uh, treated like a monster. I was branded with the name Crescent as in a reminder of my forbidden birth. Hatred and disgust followed me for years. Day by day, I was just reminded of the great sin that was my existence. My mother pretended I didn't exist and my brother acted like he loathed me. Things got so much worse as I got older and my mother couldn't afford to feed me. Out of desperation, I stole bread from um, from a stall and got caught and all the years of hatred caused the village rage to peak. I was sentenced to death. For stealing bread? My older brother, who I thought hated me, protected me and pleaded with our elder for one more chance. The elder agreed and decided to decide, like, God, let our God decide for us. I put, I had put my life in front of the Cresselia and begged for my life. But when I reached out my hands for forgiveness, Cresselia abandoned me. First, I, first they executed my mother by beheading her. Damn! Then they went after me. My brother grabbed me and dragged me into the woods. I thought he was going to kill me himself, but eventually we came to a steam. Moonin, I don't know how you say his name, told me to run. Take the, take the boat he had prepared for me and forget about them. He pleaded for I pleaded for him to come with me but he refused. He unhatched the boat and sent me adrift. That was the last time I saw my brother. I wandered the streets alone until the Miria nuclear fallout happened. I found myself on the evacuation ship and probably sent off to another region. Damn. Once I got off the ship, a group of soldiers asked me where my parents were. Obviously I told them they were gone and they took me into a facility where kids but our parents were held. It was there I, I found them, my past friends. I spent time in that box of a building until Spotlight City construction was complete. And you know the rest from there. That's terrible. I can't imagine the pain you've been through. Stop. I don't, I did not tell you that so you could pity me, nor did I ask. I just simply wanted to give you context of where I'm from. And I'm simply the last person of my lineage alive. Sort of, sort of. At one point, I became enraged at my father and hunted him down. I found him, and I tried to kill him, but I couldn't do it, so he's alive. It's quite likely, although I don't care about him anymore. I decided my friends were more important to me, and that led me here. Right, I spent enough time sitting. I need to go on a walk alone. Don't forget about your dinner date with Ren and Mel later. Yeah, um, we'll meet up at the night market around 8pm, right? That's fine. See you all there. Wow, that went well. Hard to say. Crescent specifically told us um, how she felt during all of this. That being said, I don't think it went poorly. We just need to go get dinner together. Mel, you're, well, sort of a mediator. Moderator. Uh, mediator, moderator. So good luck with that. Be fine. The rest of us will make our way back home. Damien and Alexandra said they will send over Latios and Latias to pick you up when you're all done. Good luck, Mel. Okay. Okay. Now, Jan changed the whole city up. 
So, how do we get to the night market? Let's not take no boat. Okay, I can't take that boat no way. Cool. Mall station. Okay, but like, okay, so this is just a mall. <laughs> night market right there. Take me to the night market, please. So, the night market will be the last thing I do. And then... Okay. The night market will be the last thing I do, and then from there, I will pause save. What the hell? You want a battle? Level 62? I'm liking the remix though. This must be Glitch City or... Come on, I ain't got time for you to do all of this. Like, bro, get out of my face. Oh, that's Flora. Hey, that's old girl from Reborn. I forgot her name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. All these trainer uh, fights got to end. Is this Gen 8 or Gen 9? I think this is Gen 8 music. It sounds like Galar. I could be wrong. Alright. Wait, I thought we were going to the Nightmare Market. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here we go. There's Rune. Hey, Mel. I'm here in the flesh again. Oh, you got your body back. It took a lot of sneaking around, but Narcissa actually was supportive of it, even at first she didn't agree. I don't care, it feels great to be alive. I can smell, I can touch things normally again. Tip, you look great, I miss Robo Ren. yikes. Hey, thanks, I had a lot of uh, maintenance, self-care I had to look to be presentable. My hair was down to my shoulders, I ain't showered in actual weeks, so I had to take care of that, and uh, it may as well have been, I might have been, may as well have been, as if I was in a coma. Anyway, I put our name down. Our reservation should be ready in a few minutes. Where's our Angstar? There she is. Hello. You're late. Nice look. I decided it was time for a change up. Um, I'm sure you're tired of hearing about the moving forward bit, but I feel like a fresh outfit would be beneficial for an angle again. Besides, this fancy place, aren't you supposed to dress up or something like that? Not required, but it definitely helps. They're gonna call her name soon, we should head inside. Uh, ah, yes, Ren, table for three, your table's ready. Please follow me. Oh, they got a spoink at the table. That a spender? Yeah, that's a spender. Oh, that's a spill. Uh, give you a few moments to look at the menu. I've never been to a fancy place like this. I can't imagine the type of food they sell here. I want a parm. Is everything okay? Can you guys decide? I, I know the restaurant is more formal than anything, but I really don't like uh, beating around the bush, so you don't have to either. The fish platter looks good, or maybe I could have the bomb bit. Are you serious? Hey, you need to figure out your order before the waiter gets back. Okay, so just pick what looks good, and I'm paying tonight. I haven't tried any of these foods before, so I don't know. Mel, what you decided? I won't get on your case if you end up disliking it, so don't worry. Parm special, fried crabby. The parm special, meat with red sauce, cheeses. I do like cheeses. All right, I'll get the parm special. Hey, you guys ready? Yeah, what do y'all have? I'll have the parm special extra cheese, please. I'll have the bim bit. I don't know what's it. 
Ah, uh, farm special. Yep, that's everything. Food will come out shortly. Phew, glad we got that stressful bit out of the way. That was, that was the stressful part? Yeah, I always get nervous when it comes to time for me to order. It's one of the few times I really get nervous. Do you take me for a fool? How can you just act so oblivious? I know you hold resentment towards me. So just deal with the energy and yell at me. Get angry. I don't know. Do something. It's torture. You know, when I was told about this arrangement, I was angry. Before tonight, I was sickened by you. Embarrassed that you would even put me down that path you did. But then, because of a friend, I had an epiphany. Oh? What friend are you referring to? Melia? Aaron? Mel? None of them. Narcissa. Oh, interesting answer. I didn't expect. I still I don't appreciate it or love that I was manipulated into all of this by the fake death of my friend. In fact, I still get riled up by it, looking back at it. But for the sake of success, and for the sake of moving forward, I want to raise the white flag and call a truce. Nonsense. You can't just move on so quickly, painlessly, as none of it mattered. My actions put you in danger of your life several times. The yeah. asinine. Everything I learned the hard way. If I hadn't put, I haven't been put with Narcissa, I don't think I would have gotten as strong as I am now. It's because of you I'm strong. And how can you, yeah. Made zero attempts. Your real body's with us now. You don't even have to hold back no more. Yeah, you will, won't you? How's this need is good? Because I realized a long time ago, a girl I knew who existed at two stages of her life. A little girl who, looking for her friend, and an adult woman looking for her. I brought this up with a friend, and they denied all of it. But the evidence is there. I know she's being she's been hurt for a long time. I felt her pain. It's because of the pain I chose to stay and help. I don't care about teams, and I don't care about any of it. I care about the friend I've made and her happiness. And like when it comes, I'm going to destroy Team Zen, I swore. Oh, long time ago. You're making absolutely no sense. I don't understand. It's okay, you don't have to understand. I made my peace with it, and so should you. You've been through you've been through hell, I know it. I can see it in your eyes. But you're free now. <sighs> Pretty. Well, 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 that was delicious. I didn't, I, I can't say I expected the Parm Special to be anything I call one of my new favorite dishes. Don't get used to it. Getting a seat at the place is near impossible. Although I could learn how to cook some of their dishes, though. No problem, sister. I can taste down. I didn't know you cook. Yeah, I had to do a lot of cooking for my family when my dad passed. Sad reason, but I enjoyed it a lot. A hobby of mine. Sorry hearing about your father's passing. What do we do now? It's a bit cold outside tonight. I'm still hungry. It's quite late. Perhaps we should consider going home. It's snowing. It's snowing. I see we're just letting children run around <laughs> at the night. <laughs> I see we're letting children run around the night market unattended these days. Oh, light up, Crescent. Let's check out the snow. <laughs> Crescent just like me. Like it's we it's nighttime and that kid is running around with no jacket. Oh nah. It's been forever since I've seen snow like this. We don't get much snow in Golden Leaf. It's just snow. Yeah, but you really ever take it for listen. I don't like seeing snow, because every time we see snow, Angie appears. It's a bad omen. I don't trust it. Oh, she touched the snow. That's so it's a nice snowflake. Uh, I think this is working a little too well for her. Hey, bud, let's give her some space to compose herself. I just never realized something so simple yet beautiful was around me. Ren Mel, I... Thank you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, me and Ren are like, yeah, let's just... Everything seemed to have gone well with a uh, Crescent. <laughs> you guys got her back, got her vibe back, so I guess that's, yeah. Okay, let's go to the next step. That idea I had, the program, uh, was taking a little bit, but it should be doable. Well, oh, Melia, Crescent's Warframe has completely disappeared. Wireframe, sorry. Please take a look. Oh, it's shattered. Additionally, a piece of Alger's file has been deciphered. So that means being closer to Crescent opened it up. Is that how we're supposed to gain the keys? I'm not sure, but it worked for Crescent. Become closer to everyone. 
Well, who's left? Ren, Alita, the twins, Aaron, Venom, Alex, Damien, Amber. Even if that was the case, we have a little over two weeks. We don't have that much time. I'm stressed out. How are we gonna get close to? How are we gonna get all of this done before? Maybe we're screwed. We can do this. No idea. Yeah, we don't have a choice in losing uh, either. Okay, okay. I think I thought of something to help with Zite, but we should call it a night. It's 2 a.m. in the real world. If someone wakes up and finds us both not in bed, it's gonna be awkward. Let's leave. I'll continue to go through the files and debug them on my end. Be safe. I gotta go back on my own. Uh oh. This is not. What are we doing at the Silent Grove? We should be in front of the Opolis. Something. I sent something's ahead. I sent something. Something ahead. Actually, now you mention it, I sense it too. Let's go see what it is. The picnic ended a long time ago. Let's just finally put it to rest. Fine, let's go. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to end this episode off here and start the next one. Bye.